What's going on people? It's Greg here with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to create a Word document with Excel and then automatically insert charts and graphs. So let's get right into it. All right, so on the left, I got my VBA editor. On the right, I've got a list of countries with their respective regions and populations. So let's go ahead and add a couple of charts here. So if we go to insert, um, we got chart. Let's do a 2D chart. I didn't select any data. Let's try that again. Highlight this data and go to insert, charts, 2D chart. All right, we got this here. Let's go to select data and let's edit this so that it's only get, grabbing the country because we're kind of getting jumbled up here. So we're going to do A2 to A6 instead of A2 to B6. All right, so that looks a lot better. And then we've got that. So let's go ahead and insert a pie graph. Did the same thing again. Let's delete that. Highlight this. Insert pie chart. All right. And we'll leave that as is. So now when it comes to creating a Word document, let's let's move these down here and then let's say, let's go to our code. So we'll call this sub add chart to Word and we'll declare our variables. We've got object Word object doc we're gonna have an I variable as an integer a J variable as an integer and then we're gonna have a worksheet variable WS as worksheet alright so now let's set our object word equal to create object we want to access the word application And then we're going to set object doc to object word dot documents and we're going to add a document. So now we want to set our worksheet equal to this workbook, this workbook and the sheet that we're going to be accessing. You see at the bottom is called sheet one. So sheet one. And then now we're going to have to sort out what we want our uh, our font to look like because we're not, we're not going to just put our graphs in there we're going to actually you know add some text so let's say with object doc and we can end our with and we're going to say styles add so we're going to have a style for our main title and then we're gonna have another style for our subtitle and now with styles and we're gonna start with the main title style we're gonna set the font And the name of the font we're going to use for our main title, let's do with let's do the Calibri. And then size, let's make it pretty big. Let's go ahead and go with 30. And then we'll make it bold. And the color, um, let's just pick a random color. So RGB, let's go with 30. 50, 100. We'll see what that looks like. And then we can end our width. Um, and now with styles for a subtitle, font, the name, let's go with Arial. 
size. Let's do half of that. Let's just do 15. Bold. Let's not do that. So let's just leave it as false. And then the color. Um, we'll just go with black. So that's going to be RGB 0, 0, 0. And we can end our width. All right. And if we wanted to see what the different colors were, so if we, we could go here um, to the color, let's see, more colors. And then here, if you go to custom, you can kind of pick and choose. So if I were to check to see what color we actually chose here, I could put 30, 50, 100. It's going to look like this, a bluish color. Let's go with like a green color, 9, 121, 52. So let's see what that looks like. 92152 Okay. And now we're going to continue on. So with object word and we're going to end our width again. Um We're going to make the document visible, the word document. So Visible is going to be set to true, and we're going to activate it so that it appears at the front. And then with selection, we're going to reference our style. So we're going to start off with our main title. So we're going to do object doc styles. And we want the main title style to start off. And we're going to do type text. And we'll call this uh, country report. So then now we're going to type a paragraph. So it goes to the next line. And then. Uh, we're going to use our next style. So, object doc style, and it's going to be subtitle. And then we're going to type text again. And we'll say, um, Please see bar diagram. And then we're going to type paragraph again. All right. So now what we're going to do here is use WS. So we're going to be referencing our workbook here. And we're going to do chart objects. And we want the name of this chart. So the name of this chart, we seem to click on it, and you see here it's called chart five. So chart five. And then we want to do chart. Copy picture. And we're going to paste it. So we're going to type paragraph again. Let me just copy this so I can paste it in. All right. Type paragraph. And then type text. And we're going to do this. Please see pie chart. And then we will type paragraph again. And then we'll once again do chart, 
objects and this chart is probably chart or oh, chart 7 is what this is called so chart 7 chart copy picture and you want to paste it and we're going to type paragraph again and then that's when we end our width okay so that fit right in there okay nice so let's go ahead and run this and see what we get so we got an error here we're gonna have to debug something typo sorry about that let's try it again okay look at that boom so we've got a word document with our country report I guess I got that color wrong let me see It was nine twenty one fifty two. Oops, so that was not it at all. It was uh, let's just pick another one. So nine twenty one one fifty two. Let's do this twenty six one thirty four thirty one twenty six. 134 31 okay okay now we get our green okay cool so <clears throat> a couple more things so say you want to uh, reference instead of typing in your text in the code say you want to grab some text from your from your file here you could do so say you do please um, what was it please see bar diagram please see pie chart okay and then let's just call it graph since we already saw diagram um, and now we're going to reference worksheet and we want cells and we're going to come down 8 so it's going to be 8 1 so 8 1 and we want the text and then here for the pie chart we want WS and you know WS we set up here cells and that's going to be 9 1 we want the text so let's try it and you see that works just perfectly see bar graph instead of bar diagram this time and then please see pie chart and then one more thing say we wanted to change the names of these charts so that said chart 5 for whatever reason and this was chart 7 so let's change them to charts 1 and 2 go back to our code and then change this to 1 and this to 2 boom oh what happened that oh that didn't stick all right there we go all right so yeah that's all i have for today Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Have a good one.